Now, I know that I wish I reviewed a sneaker during the Air Max month. There was an Air Max, but the shoe came so late, so from the sneaker vault, I do apologize for that, man. But I'm really excited to review this sneaker. I think Air Maxes, specifically Air Max 1s, have kind of been a staple in my closet. I think I've really enjoyed wearing them. I think I really enjoy the, the history behind them. And I really love how Nike continues to like bring out like some really cool pairs of Air Max 1s. And you know, it's kind of a niche, a niche sneaker in South Africa, especially. I think the market is just not as into Air Max 1s as it should be. I know in SA, let's say when I was getting into sneakers, 20 let's say 2013 to 2016 air max culture was huge in sa specifically air max 95s and 97 and being a colored person and moving to joburg air max 90s was a shoe that i saw so many of my fellow color people like wearing and you know like that also got me into air max culture so it's something that i'm really passionate about and so something i'm really passionate to speak about you know, and just this beautiful silhouette and this be beautiful air unit sneaker that changed the landscape for Nike. So I'm really excited to get into the sneaker with you guys. But if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Dunn. I run Sneaker Vocal Teeny Corner and Soul Talk. This channel has a bit of everything for everyone. If you like sneakers, I got you. If you like fashion with sneakers, I got you. If you like gaming, I got you. If you like interviews, I got you as well, man. So I really hope that you subscribe and you like the video. It mean a lot to me and it helps me get out there man so that's the i think that's the introduction done and i'm really excited to get into the shoe so this is the mx1 premium the baltic blue corduroy now i saw a really cool image today on instagram about the sneaker because as you guys know the the first Cordray, let me say not the first Cordray, but a very popular Cordray Nike MX1 was the Sean Swoop Waterspoon AM197. And I saw um, a guy that I follow on Instagram, like he had the Sean Waterspoon Superstars and the Baltic Blue Cordrays, and he was like, this is how I'm going to get the MX97 slash MX1. And I thought that was kind of cool, man. So shout out to my homie that I follow, man. Um, so yeah, this shoe I got from Jack Limkus. It's... I paid 3199 for it. It's quite pricey, but I think it is the premium uh, MX1, so hence the price, if I'm if I'm if I'm not mistaken, man. And it's a it's a lovely shoe. I got this in a UK 10. I do wish that I got a UK nine and a half. So if you are, I would suggest you, you, you size you size a half size down. It doesn't fit true to size, it's a bit but a bit big on me, but I can still wear it, you know, I can still put it off. So yeah, man. Let's just get into the box. So as you guys can see comes with this the standard nike the nike box and then you guys can see that i'm a uk 10 right there and then i'll have the normal nike air tag at the back this box is made from over 90 percent recycled material and box made in china so i really love the fact that you know they'll be getting into all of these recyclable materials it's, i think this is important for the environment man so yeah man let's get into the sneaker guys so bam bam thank you ma'am so as you guys can see i don't know if you guys can see some of the dirt marks on it just on some of the, the out the midsole of the sneaker because i did wear it so that's why i could say that you know it is you should go half size down and i just love the way the 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 the, the air units is so clear that i can almost look through it and see the camera man so let's just go into a deeper look into the sneaker as you guys can see there's a corduroy material you guys can see the dirt because i have been wearing it and you can see like this beautiful brown swoosh and you can see the nike air logo at the back with the brown mx logo at the back and then you got like this navy blue on the outer sole and then inside the shoe you get the you'll get the normal mx logo right there so what i love about the shoe and what i hate about the shoe let me let's let's actually just get into what i hate about the shoe i hate the fact that the only the only thing i can get annoyed about the shoe is that corduroy material is going to be so hard to clean 
So if I, if you were getting the sneak, I'd always suggest that you're gonna wear it to a bra. I would not say suggest you wear it to groove unless you do know how to s- clean your sneakers. It's that's something that's just a recommendation that I can give with regards to that. But when we do we break down the color, the colors of this this shoe, right? So you get like this lovely Baltic blue in the quadro, and you get like this lovely brown on the quadro on the swoosh, right? And you get like this navy blue material on the inner of the sneaker. So I really like the contrasting colors. I love the fact that you can see the midsole is like this sail white, and then you get the outer sole, which is this navy blue, and the the mid, and then the, the inside of the shoe you get this navy blue. So it kind of just contrasts this Baltic, this bright. I wouldn't say bright blue, but this really pure blue material, which I think is really really nice. Like I said, I always I always rate the Comfort and MX ones highly. I think it's a very comfortable shoe that you can wear every day. I think. The funny thing, I was trying to, for MX Day, I wanted to talk about how an MX one kind of fits into your, your everyday. Let me not say MX one, but MX is how they fit into your everyday. How it's such a stylish shoe and comfortable shoe that you can just wear for your everyday activities. And I think that's what, for me, what the MX one bodies, you know, I think it's a, it's a beautiful shoe. I think my favorite MXs are definitely the MX one ninety, not the MX one. Then the MX90, MX95, and the MX98. I think I'm a huge fan of them. But the only problem I think what I have with the with the older with let me say the the higher number models is that they're not as comfortable as the 90 and the MX1, which is quite weird because a lot of those 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 sneakers have like the full midsole of bubble of air tech. So it's very interesting. So. I really am a fan of the sneaker. Let me know what sneakers you guys got for the MX month, what MX ones you picked up, and how do you guys feel about this pair? I do know that the ladies MX ones that have been dropping in SA and on sneakers have been absolutely amazing. They have not been missing a beat with with the with the with the with the, with the MX ones on the in the women's sizes so if you guys are big amx1 fans women who are watching this video i suggest you go look on sneakers you go look on shelf life you go look on jack limkus there are some killer 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 colorways in the amx1 so yeah man i just i just thought it was really cool that i got to this because i didn't man i didn't get i didn't manage to get the big bubble and i saw um quite a bit of reviews and i saw the sneaker edgy ocs review on the big bubble and i really liked it he really made me jealous that he got that pair so i'm gonna probably be in the, the hunt for it but i think this sneaker it's all sold out i think i got the last uk 10 at jack limkus you can try on shelf life i do know the stores that um had them were jack limkus and shelf life in essay i'm gonna miss the um i don't know if sports scene or um sports you know archive got them so if you guys are still looking for the shoe i do suggest you guys look on limkus and shelf life man but yeah man like we I rate the sneak on the sneaker for meter, I give us a good 8 out of 10. I think it's a very, the reason why I give it an 8 out of 10 is that like, I was just looking, there's some glue stains over here, but just the corduroy is a beautiful shoe. It's a beautiful material to look at from a distance, but when you own the shoe and you wear it, I think it will come with some limitations of where you have to go. So hence my rating of 8 and 8 and 8 and 8, 8 out of 10. So let me know where you guys rate the sneaker, man. So this was the mx1 premium in baltic blue corduroy colorway this is josh dunn i'll be back with another review peace and love